Hey everybody, I came over to Colin Park over in West Houston to do some more walking and when I pulled into the parking lot, this is what I see. This is pretty cool that you can come over to a park in the city of Houston and see deer. This is so cool. I'm going to try to be quiet as I'm getting out and starting my walk this morning. It's cold and wet, but I really need to walk, so I thought I'd come back out to the park and do some walking while I'm here. And to my surprise, I see some deer. I posted a video a few months ago of me walking at Cullen Park, and I decided to um, go walk the opposite direction today and see what's over here on this direction. Um, I've already seen some deer. The airport that I showed you guys in the last video is over that direction. That's the direction that I walked. I parked in the same parking lot and I'm walking this direction now. So I wanted to stop and show everybody one of the gazebos that they have here along with a lot of the picnic tables. There's a lot of different places to uh, have picnics and a lot of covered gazebos that are here that you can rent out. Um, there's a plaque up there that you can, uh, information on how to reserve the gazebos. And it's just a nice little area here that you can walk and uh, get some exercise, have a picnic with some family. Here's some more picnic tables. Of course, like I said, it's been raining here the last few days and it's kind of cold. So... Uh, it is very wet. We are in a reservoir area here right now. And this whole area is run by the Army Corps of Engineers. So when it rains a whole lot, this area floods. But uh, in fact, several of the parking lots, this parking lot right here is actually closed right now. Um, I was able to park down there on that parking lot down there and just walk over this direction. But... Uh, I wanted to see what is available on the other side of the bridge over here. I drove across that bridge to get to the parking lot I'm parked in and saw some interesting things that I wanted to walk back and check out. So we are on our way to check them out. There are creeks that run through the reservoir area too and these creeks tend to flood a whole lot as well. You can kind of see how some of the trees are kind of bent back. Um, I guess when it floods it kind of pushes the trees in one direction. But it's nice to hear the birds chirping. It's nice to see some water flowing in the creeks and not be overflowing. The last few months have been the holiday months and uh, even though I tried very hard to stay healthy, uh, it's been very stressful up at work the last few months. So I really did not do so well as far as eating healthy and, and exercising like I should. So I'm starting back trying to get healthy again, which is another reason why I'm out here video taping my uh, walk here at Colin Park I'm hoping you guys can help keep me straight on exercising and getting back to being healthy I did gain some about 10 pounds over the course of the last three four months um, because of the stress at work and holiday eating and all that good stuff so I'm gonna try to get back on track and lose some weight last few months though um, even though I gained a little bit of weight um, my muscle mass also increased 
and my fat percentage went down so I guess I kind of washed out um, it kind of equaled out you know with the weight gain but also gaining muscle mass so muscle mass is always better than fat but um, this is just a really nice park to walk at even though it's a little chilly I went ahead and took some uh, some medicine I'm not I don't have a cold I just don't want to get one so I'm trying to prep ahead of time since I knew I'd be out here in the cold walking but it's uh it's overall a nice day it's not raining which is good so we'll keep keep at it and get back on track with the losing the weight uh, we're coming up on a, another picnic area another restroom actually there's two gazebos and this is a pretty big picnic area here both these gazebos can be rented and uh, same little plaque on the side of them to say how to rent them and I see a playground over there so this is actually a really nice size picnic area I guess a little creek a gully type of thing right here but this would be a great place for a birthday party or a class reunion or um, family reunion nice size it's a pretty area I can hear the birds chirping one thing I didn't notice when I was over there was I thought there were two gazebos there's actually three there's the first one and then there's two over here I could only see the first one I couldn't see the second one so that's over here this one's quite nice a lot of the early settlers to this area came and formed a little town called Attics and um, the Attics actually had its own school district for a while but then in the 1960s uh, it got absorbed into uh, a couple of other school districts in the area and um, so unfortunately Attics is not a town anymore but they still have some things like this around this is in the middle of Colon Park so a lot of the early settlers from the 1800s when they passed they set up a cemetery here so and there's one right down the road at the end of the trail that I walked a couple months ago and um, still in this reservoir area so this area this was under four feet of water when Hurricane Harvey hit last year uh, in 2017 and this is a cemetery from the early settlers they've got it fenced off so you can't just walk around in it uh, there is a there is a gate that you can go in there at the end but it's locked so I guess you have to be a part of the uh, cemetery community uh, to, to get in if you've bought a plot here or whatever I guess you can get in but they actually have it looks like another fence inside here and it looks like some people have been in here recently there's a plant in there there's another plant over there I would be interested to be able to go inside and see some of these headstones let's walk over here and see what the plaque says it's just it's kind of weird in the middle of a park uh, to have a cemetery in the middle of the park I see this one that's kind of leaning over right there it says 1834 on the headstone and whatever was on here has totally been wiped out 
the sign over here says U.S. property, no trespassing. These in here look a little newer than the ones on the outside of the fence. The one on the end there says that the person was born in 1843 and died in 1900. The one next to it looks a little newer, but I can't read what's on it or the one next to, to the left of that one. Okay, I did find a sign. It says... This cemetery dates from the earliest period of historic settlement in the Attics area and includes prominent members of the Bear Creek German community. The earliest grave is that of Johann Koch, died 1854. Johann Koch and his wife Anne Elizabeth, Elizabetha immigrated from a small town near Darmstadt, Germany in December 1846 and were instrumental in establishing the Bear Creek community. Other early Bear Creek families represented in this cemetery include Addicts, Ankel, Gastman, Groschke, Hoffman, Lear, Marx, Matsky, Miller, Otto, Quaid, Schmidt, and Smith. In 1879, members of these families joined to form the Bear Creek German Methodist Church, and by 1889, the German, the Bear Creek Schutzen. Varen, a social club. This vibrant German community persisted into the Attics area well into the 20th century and many descendants still reside in the greater Houston area. So if you want to have access to the area then you have to call the number at the bottom. And it says removal of artifacts or digging is prohibited. Like I said, there's several locks on this cemetery. Let's see if we can come around this way and see. That one on the far left, I can read now. It's Susanna Schmidt, born... February 24th, 1832, and died February 7th, 1922. And it's pretty wet back here, so I'm not going to try to make it to see those others back there. But it's just interesting to see a cemetery here in the middle of the park across from the picnic areas. So we'll keep on walking and see what we can see from here. This area is just really nice to be able to walk in and get some exercise in. I see bicyclists come out here, uh, skaters, roller skaters come out here, um, walk, walkers, runners, they all come out here and either ride or skate or walk or run this pathway. It's several miles long, just this one pathway. So it's, it's really kind of nice. Of course, like I said, it's kind of flooded out right now. So, uh, but that's okay. At least the walkway is not flooded over. So we're, we're good. Nice areas to sit down for a few minutes if you need to sit down. I haven't seen any bird houses on this stretch like I saw before on the other stretch, but at least I know they have them here, so that's all that matters. If you look real close, you can see a squirrel running around. There's a couple of them in there, if you look real close. A couple, three of them. So that's kind of neat, too. Just be able to look through the trees and see squirrels and whatnot. This bridge is much lower than the one I walked across earlier. So they have 
pass through areas for the water when it starts to flood. It looks like when Hurricane Harvey hit in 2017 that it carried some uh, equipment over here in you know, the waters. Like I said, it was four feet high and I'm sure it was moving at a decent rate. It looks like it moved some equipment over to here and just dropped it in the middle of the woods. And it looks like they haven't been able to get out here yet, even though it's been about 18 months since the hurricane hit. Looks like they haven't had a chance to come out here and clean this out and remove the damaged equipment. That's kind of sad to see that. So I've come back a different way from where I started. There's my car, the red one. There's a playground right there by it. And two more gazebos. It was just past these gazebos that I saw the two, the three deer at the beginning of the video. It'd be kind of neat to see if they're still there when we get back around the corner. That building in the background is a Buddhist temple and there's an airport just to the left of that temple. Sadly the deer have moved on, gone somewhere else here in the park, but it was really nice to see them as we got out of the car to do our walk. But thank you for joining me with my walk today and exploring this part of Cullen Park. Now on to some other errands I need to run today. Thank you for joining me.